Hey, welcome to Let's Talk Context, American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions. I'm Ethlyn. And I'm Sherwin. Today, Sherwin and I are going to discuss English phrasal verbs with the word sit. Let's start with sit out. This is used to suggest that you don't want to participate in something. Sherwin, do you want to play another round? No, I'm going to sit out. In the example, let's say Sherwin and I are playing a game of basketball with some friends. We just beat our opponents, but they've challenged us to a rematch. So I say to Sherwin, do you want to play again? Do you want to play another round? I'm tired, so I'm going to tell Ethelyn that I'm going to sit out because I don't want to keep playing. Sit up. You can say this to someone who's slouching or displaying bad posture. We're in the middle of a class and I see Ethelyn slouching in her chair. So I tell her, Ethelyn, you look bored. Please sit up. Oops. Sit in. This phrasal verb is used when someone is communicating that they will take part in a meeting or conversation only as an observer or listener. If it's okay with you, I'm going to sit in on the interview tomorrow with the teacher candidate. Sherwin is asking me if he can take part in the interview. By using sit in, I understand that he only wants to be in the same room and not actively participate in the interview. That's right. I won't ask questions or speak. I'll just listen to what the teacher candidate has to say. To recap, we've discussed sit out, sit up, and sit in. Do you know any other phrasal verbs with sit? Write them in the comment section below. Well, that's it for today's lesson. To learn more American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to check out Sherwin's channel to learn fantastic one-minute English lessons. See you. See you.